Okay. There must be another one. I call... <laughs> <laughs> but a very speech entertaining there. speech. I call Paul Eagle. Uh, thank you, uh, Madam <laughs> Chair. Well, what was that? So, look, I, uh, Madam Chair, I did ask for uh, his colleague Simeon Brown to educate uh, the member from Hanua about what part we were from. So thank you for wasting four and a half minutes on part three when we're actually on part four. But it is complex, so he's forgiven. He's forgiven because it's a complex uh, bill and I'm thankful that I'm only concentrating on part four. So, and for those, in fact, I, I will remind the member what part four has in it. No, 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 I will, I will. Don't, don't try and stop me. And if we go to page 18, there's actually 10 acts. And, and let's have a look at these closely. The Kiwi Saver Act 2006. The Student Loan Scheme Act 2011. The Goods and Services Tax Act 1985. The Child Support Act 1991. The Accident Compensation Act 2001. The Income Tax Act 2004. The Taxation Annual Rates for 2016-17, comma, Closely Held Companies, comma, and Remedial Matters Act 2017. The Health and Safety at Work Act 2015 and the Compensation for Live Organ Donors Act 2016. Nothing about petroleum decommissioning. Nothing, 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 nothing. So, <coughs> Madam Chair, let, 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 let's go through part four and have a closer look. And I want to just reiterate and support some of the comments that have been made by my colleagues when they talk about this being a a much more meaning, a, 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 a really a clean up, a tidy up. And we heard that from the Minister who talked about uh, some of these acts being in place for a long time. And for this particular part, um, there are many acts which, uh, after being in there for so long, could do with a bit of a clean up. And so they're small, but they, they make a big difference to Kiwis and everyday New Zealanders. And I want to just uh, focus on the Kiwi Saver Act of 2006, because when that was introduced nearly a, a decade ago, we were told that that was about retirement savings made easy. So let's get some legislation and let's change the bits after a good decade of being in use to make retirement savings easier for Kiwis and to make sure that the little things in there the practical thing, so when you get an application form, or you want to opt out, or you want to give information across from employees to employers, you can do that easily. And the, and the law, the legislation here, uh, and what's being proposed will enable employers to do that. It also ensures that employees uh, are treated uh, with good customer care and are able to opt out, change things, talk to the Inland Revenue Department about those changes, and it can be done really easily. If we have a look at the Act 2, we know... Well, I want to just point out a few things. We know that the changes, in many cases, uh, have been difficult, and I know that when we look through the part, this particular part, uh, it will make things far more simpler. I also want to point out on pages 176 to 180, just some of those simple things. And it's as simple as a word such as notify. When you're having to notify someone, that act is far more different than what's in the law at the moment. I also want to look at some of the other changes around 40 seconds. 40 seconds. The, the commissioner must give notice of, if employer contributions are not remitted, and you'll see a change there. Madam Speaker, these are simple changes that reflect the current environment, and I'm really supportive, as are my colleagues, as of this party, um, that we bring a suite of changes to these 10 acts in this part that ensure uh, that everyday lives are made much more easily under this government. Fantastic.
Madam Chair. Okay. Question is at part four, stand part.